Hello, welcome to Continue with Subcontro Radio and Television Station. Here are the headlines. Vietnam is the world's third largest seafood exporter, with over 7% of the market share behind China and Norway. The Department of Information and Communications of Gangta City met with Omom District's People's Committee to discuss information and communications management. Taito University held a national workshop on pilot model of regional linkage in tourism development, with Gangta City as the central hub. Top news today. With more than 7% of the market share, Vietnam is now the world's third largest seafood exporter, following only China and Norway. In July 2024, Vietnam seafood exports reached 915.9 million US dollars, marking a 17.8% increase compared to July 2023. For the first seven months of this year, seafood exports totaled 5.32 billion US dollars, an 8% increase from the same period last year. During this time, export to various markets grew. The United States rose by 12.8%, China by 11.6%, Australia by 9.1%, Canada by 34.6%, and Israel by 42.3%. Notably, export to Russia grew by 105% compared to the same period last year. With these results, Vietnam seafood industry is optimistic about reaching the 2024 export target of 10 billion US dollars. The Vietnam Fruit and Vegetable Association reported that in August, fruit and vegetable exports are projected to exceed 700 million US dollars, marking a roughly 27% increase from the previous month and nearly a 51% rise compared to the same period in 2023. August is among the highest in fruit and vegetable export values for the year, driven by the peak during harvest season in the central highlands. Over the first eight months of the year, fruit and vegetable exports are estimated at 4.58 billion US dollars, reflecting a growth of over 29% compared to the same period last year. Meanwhile, imports of fruit and vegetables during this period reached 1.53 billion US dollars, an increase of more than 19% year on year. Updated data over the past seven months shows that Vietnam's largest sources of fruit and vegetable imports are China, the US, Myanmar, Australia and others. Notably, there's been a sharp increase in the import of not only fruits but also vegetables and tubers. The Department of Information and Communication of Gangta City recently held a meeting with the People's Committee of Omom District to discuss state management in the field of information and communication. Since the beginning of the year, Omom District's People's Committee has implemented plans for information and communication, digital transformation and online services. They invested in new equipment, including 96 desktop computers and 39 printers, and promoted online public service registration and payments. The district now offers 215 online services at the district level and 79 at the ward level. In the first eight months, they processed 18,166 online records and digitized 91.8% of administrative procedures. The Ford Agribank Talented and Elegant Staff Contest 2024 for the Mekong Delta region was held on August 23rd and 24th in Benjia City, Benjia Province. The fourth Agribank Talented and Elegant Staff Contest 2024 in the Mekong Delta, held in Benjia City on August 23rd and 24, featured 18 teams and 180 contestants. The contest showcased elegance, professionalism, and talent, with awards given to teams from Benjia, Gamao, Kinyang, Bakliu, Tingyang, and Yang branches, third prize, Agribank Dong Long Ang branch, second prize and Agribank Longang branch best team. The top two teams will represent the Mekong Delta at the national finals in November. Additionally, Agribank donated 500 million Vietnamese dong to Ben Chair to build homes for policy families. On August 24, Taito University held a national scientific workshop on the theme Pilot Model of Regional Linkage in Tourism Development, where Kanta City is positioned as the central hub and core Aboriginal collaboration. 
The organizing committee has collected 23 presentations from lecturers, scientists and businesses for the conference proceedings, focusing on tourism models in Gangte City. With the MICE model as the key regional linkage, at the workshop, delegates discussed the development of the MICE tourism model in Gangte, its role as a regional hub in the Mekong Delta and the impact of tourism on social economic growth. They also shared insights, analyzed challenges, and proposed solutions for tourism development in both Gangte and the broader Mekong Delta. The workshop is part of Taito University project on factors affecting Gangte City's role as a regional linkage center in the Mekong Delta, set to conclude in September 2024. In eight months of 2024, Garang Tourism attracted more than 2 million visitors, with nearly 600,000, 84,000 people visiting Garang Floating Market. The total revenue from tourism is estimated to be 137.5 billion Vietnamese dong. Garang has 25 tourist sites, with Garang Floating Market being a major attraction for both domestic and international visitors. At the end of August, the People's Committee of Garang District and Gang Te's Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism will host the 8th Garang Floating Market Cultural Tourism Festival. The event, theme preserving and promoting national intangible culture, Garang Floating Market Culture, will take place from August 31st to September 1st. Highlights include a boat parade, tourism and trade booths, a discussion on developing waterways to promote the floating market, a beauty of Alba past and present contest, a model decoration contest for boats, gay bale, hanging bamboo poles, sports tournament, and boots showcasing agricultural products and cuisine. Ladies and gentlemen, the summer tourism season 2024 is rapidly closing with many impression memories preserved by Agapus. Particularly, tourists who come to Canto City this summer have had many interesting experiences when there are more and more attractive tourism products. On the list, very famous Mekan tourism village from the district is still constantly improving the quality of service as well as building new tourism products. Typically, recently, this place has launched two new tourism products to serve tourists near and far. As a result, it attracts and increases the number of tourists. According to statistics, from the beginning of the summer tourism season until now, Mekan Tourism Village has welcomed more than 100,000 visitors, an increase of about 10% compared to the previous year. To attract tourists, this year we have read to Broadest 6 a Rainbow Slime Mat Mekan Blotting Market with a unique display equipment or activities such as carrying for tourists to take pictures creating a good impression on tourists when coming to Mekan. This is my second time to Kantor and my first time to this amusement park. This is also where I find it very interesting. Not only Mekan Tourism Village, from the beginning of summer until now, the number of visitors and tourism attractions in the city has increased compared to previous years. In particular, tourists from Hanoi, the central region, and the southeast provinces all feel many interest and impressions when coming to Cantor. I noticed on the tourism village through Facebook. I find this tourism area very fun, suitable for children and family trips. We have opened an amusement park for students to experience. It is such a okay great with many roller strip games, jeep bridge, monkey bridge, board ride. They are unique games. I was a little scared at first, but then I felt very happy, especially when I went out with my family. Another summer tourism season is gradually passing, but for these tourists, surely the nostalgia still remains. And even after leaving Cantor, they will also bring with them a lot of affection for a loving and hospitable Western capital.
Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.